Hi, I'm Juliana Hever, and this is 10 Days, 5 Ways, 1 Healthiest Year Ever. Today is T minus 5 days until the new year, and we're going to talk about getting enough sleep. Most people don't. Let's face it, most of us are running around really stressed out, busy, overstimulated, all of the above, and we don't get enough sleep. Counterintuitive though, because when we sleep, it's the only time that our body can really repair, recover, rejuvenate. So it's very, very important for us to get adequate sleep. Thus, here are five ways to help get adequate sleep. Way number one, set a schedule. Every night, go to bed at the same time. And every morning, set your alarm for the same time, seven days a week, including weekends and holidays, I know it's tempting where you really want to sleep in, but it does mess up your whole rhythm and your whole pattern. So try to set it and stick to it no matter what. Way number two, give yourself at least an hour or so before bed to calm down. Stop with the overstimulation. You know, get off, this is hard for most of us, get off your computer and your phone and your technology that's all bright and exciting and, and tune that stuff out. Go to soothing music or read a book or just find ways to kind of soothe and have a pattern. Take a bath, light a candle, but don't light a candle go to bed. But find ways to kind of soothe yourself and relax your brain down, wind down for the day. It is a very physiological process that will be beneficial. Way number three, don't eat a heavy meal before bed. Like give yourself a few hours before you go to sleep to eat. You know, you don't want to have something really heavy that requires a lot of digestion because digestion is already very energy intensive. So give yourself a few hours to finish that process. There's new research showing that your gut may have its own circadian rhythm, meaning it functions at, you know, optimally during certain hours. So essentially you know, save your eating for when you're most active during the day and give yourself time. You know, the, the, there's a lot of research substantiating an intermittent fast, you know, giving yourself a good, you know, maybe 12 hours between dinner and breakfast the next day. Very important for your body to have a break from digestion. Way number four, avoid caffeine and alcohol before bed. Some people are more sensitive to other than others on this, so obviously know thyself and make the decision based on that. But it does tend to be stimulating and disrupt healthy sleep patterns. And finally, set up your, your environment to be soothing and tranquil for sleep. Your whole bedroom should be you know, comfortable, cozy. You should associate it with calm, peace, and relaxation so that you're in that routine and everything around you says, yep, it's time to sleep. Thanks for joining me today on 10 days, five ways, one healthiest year ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.